Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. A little bit of a new setup here. I finally got a stand-up LED light and it has like changed the game for me. So much better, such a better angle. I feel like it's just totally gonna turn out my videos. So I'm really excited about that. Also excited to do a full face of new products video. I did a poll on my Instagram and that's what won. And you guys also picked what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use. So yeah, I am super excited to get started. It's gonna be full face of everything but eyebrows because honestly, I didn't wanna waste money on new eyebrow products. Nothing really was exciting me. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do what I know and what I love. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for me. Let's get on into the video. Okay. So I was actually sent the new Kylie watermelon lip oil. <laughs> just kidding. Coming soon, coming soon, I'll be on her PR list. But I actually got this at work um, from a lady who works with the Kylie brand. Watermelon Lip Oil by Kylie Skin. It is to smooth and nourish. It is a shine of lip gloss, moisture, blah, 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 blah. Vitamin E, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> let's open it up. Oh, I wanted that to be a cute reveal. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Let me look bad here. So yeah, you're supposed to open it up and there it was. So I'm gonna put it on for the first time. Ooh, has a nice hint of watermelon. The applicator is nice and thick. I like applicators like that. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm, that is really nice. You know, the lip oil I always use is by Kopari. They're Lip Cloud and I really like that. It's not sticky, feels really nice. A little bit thicker than the Kopari one, but not in a bad way, not like in a sticky way. I really like that. I was gonna go out and buy a new primer. Also, hello, I have new hair. If you haven't noticed, I went darker. I'm like loving it, it looks so pretty. But back on track. I got a sample of this from Sephora, literally like on my birthday, which was all the way back in June. So. I've had this for so long. I've tried the original silk canvas and like that little pink pot thing, but I haven't tried the liquid one and I've been saving it and I just forgot I had it. So I'm gonna put it on today. I love that smell though from Tatcha. I also hate how camera, how the camera picks up my redness. Like these are all like old bumps, but it just really picks up the redness. Hmm. I think I like this one a little bit better than the original. <laughs> no one's better than the original. I'll see you in jail, bitch. Anybody know that audio? My room really confused. <laughs> I really like that. Also, been going so back and forth in my brain. Wow, my skin looks really good. That might be my next grab. <laughs> like I need any more makeup, but you can never have too much. So the first original idea, I was gonna use this palette by Morphe. Come on, come on. Like I could not get over just how pretty that is. It's almost one of those palettes I get scared to purchase because when I buy them, there's so many colors to pick from that I get so overwhelmed and like honestly I pop off. These looks are so pretty. I also bought this. I seriously have a problem because I forgot I bought it. <laughs> I was looking through my drawers and I'm like, oh my God, I literally just bought that too. But this color story is so beautiful too. I'm like, like that shade right there is just calling my name. And then the purples, all right, I have to make a decision. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna play with this, but I honestly think I wanna do a purple look, so I think I'm gonna do this palette. I'm so sorry. I'm disappointing anybody who's coming from my Instagram. I will do this in another video, but this is just like calling me today, so I will definitely try her out, but I'm gonna do this one today. I'm gonna go in with the shade Talking Drums with this type of brush here. Ooh, she's close. So you see it's like a little bit of a warm brown. Okay, it's got an orange base, which is nice because that's gonna mix well with the purple. So I'm just gonna maybe shake that. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna focus it right here. So this is gonna be my transition shade. 
Ooh, that's nice. And I'm gonna windshield wiper it in, but I'm focusing the dimension on the outer corner. First impressions, that is such a nice shade. I love how it went on super smoothly and it blended just really well. Very, very big fan. I don't even know where I was gonna go with that, but anyways. I'm gonna go in with that, with kind of like an angled brush like this. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer edge. She's segmented. So. So far, these purple eyeshadows are blending seamlessly because I've had, full disclosure, I've had a purple like six pan eyeshadow from Juvie's Place before and I wasn't crazy over how the purple shadows were blending, but I see a complete change of note here, completely turned up from the other time, blended very seamlessly, very smoothly. I'm just gonna go in with that shade and I'm gonna take that, because that's not fully blended up there either. So I'm gonna take that shade and focus it in the inner corner. It's a little bit of a lighter purple. Also, how do people feel about the Kylie Cosmetics brand coming out with a collaboration with Batman? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It just feels like random. That brush that I used to do my um, transition shade with, I'm gonna take that without picking up any more product and I'm just gonna blend right above that eyeshadow there. Hey guys, just popping in here. I'm not sure why I didn't have a clip of me telling you what shades I was putting on my eyes, but the first shade I'm using is the shade Katanga. And then the next shade I'm using, which is kind of the darker purple on my outer edge, just to give that gradient effect and also help blend that darker shadow. It's gonna be the shade, I believe, Boronu. It's B-O-R-O-N-U. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I looked up the Katanga, that's how you say that, but using those two shades and once I Loving how this looks, and I'm just putting a tiny bit more product on just cleaning up the glitter a tiny bit and I'm gonna focus it on the outer edge at first just to blend that together that's why a great tip if you're ever doing this type of look it's really nice it's really nice to have a darker glitter shade on the outer edge because I find it a lot more easier to blend. My next move is they don't have a light shade in that palette for me to do it. So I'm gonna take that moon sand color. If you haven't seen my tutorial with the new Urban Decay X Robin Eisenberg palette, I fell in love with that shade for this exact technique right here. So I'm taking that shade and I'm just setting up here and right where that color meets I'm just blending just ever so lightly I'm going to take my liquid liner and I'm just going to line my lash line that's it no wing actually would a wing be cute I'm either gonna come back with wings or I'm just gonna leave it here, not sure. Okay, so I put winged liner on, baby wings. I think it adds to the look. I think it creates the right, I think it was the right call. So next, taking my tartlet tubing. This is like my all time favorite mascara. Not even because I like the way it makes my lashes look. Truthfully, just because it's so easy to take off. Like it literally just comes off. It doesn't rip my lashes off. It's tough with me because I have like no lashes in general. 
So no mascara really does a lot for me. These are the Juvia's Place Nubian Lash and I believe Biba. They're like, see, oh my God, <laughs> face gets red. They're like this style here. I've showed them here on my channel before and I purchased them again because they're one of my favorites, so. So just cleaned up the eyeliner a little bit from the lashes, put a little bit of eyeliner in my inner, underneath my lid, my, I forget what you call that. So for the foundation today, I am trying out the Makeup Revolution In Real Life Filter, the Longwear Breathable Soft Matte Foundation in shade F4. Hopefully this matches me. There wasn't any, um, no, that's a lie. There was some samples out. I think, I think this one was the one I sampled. I don't know how much or how little you need. Oh my god, this smells like a foundation I've used before. I shouldn't be like huffing it. <laughs> what foundation was that? That just brought me back to a time in my life. <laughs> I really wanted to try these Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzers. This is in the shade Medium. I believe this was like seven bucks. I'm gonna take a brush like this. This is from BH Cosmetics. And ooh, I'm gonna... Okay, she seems dark. So I'm gonna start up here. Ooh. Oh my God, that blended so nice. Yeah, and when you do cream bronzers, focus on dragging them back. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Next product I'm gonna use is from ColourPop. This is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Cream Concealer. When I was buying this, um, one of my friends was like, oh my God, I love that concealer, so I'm excited to try it out. This is in Fair 10 Neutral, Fair 10 N, I'm assuming, or Neutral. And I'm gonna put this in all the places I wanna highlight. It's like this specific scent that these props have. It's a tiny bit. I like how flexible this applicator is. I normally like to let it sit for a second, but I don't know how this is gonna perform, so I'm just gonna start to blend. That looks really pretty and in person it's really creamy and it's not cakey at all and i put like two layers on you guys that concealer and this foundation i don't know if it's the combo i don't know if it's the foundation i don't know what it is i just went into the bathroom to like clean my lips off and i looked in the mirror and i was like it literally looks like i'm wearing a filter on my face you can see like no texture, a tiny bit on my chin, but that's like really hard to like cancel out. But this might be my favorite foundation and that concealer, complete win. I have it, I have the Juvia's Place dupe for the Dior um, blush, this one right here. I have been dying to use this. So let's get into it, girl. Let's, let's get into this right now. Ooh. 
and I always like to sweep it under my eye and bring it up. Oh, that's good. Get a mirror. Duh. Ooh. That? Stunning. I do have a new lipstick, I mean a lip gloss to try out. It is the Tower 88 Glosses in the shade Pistachio. So I'm going to take this. Oh. Oh, it's really pretty. I love this formula. Last and final steps, taking that dark purple that I put on the outer corner. I am just gonna lightly drag it down here. Taking that first transition shade I used in the beginning, I think everything comes full circle in eyeshadow looks. And I'm just very lightly dragging that underneath just to blend that out and make it look just really seamless. I just took a little bit of that pigment on this brush. Okay, you guys, we have made it to the end of the video. Oh, let me fix that. I am absolutely obsessed with this look. I think it turned out so pretty. I love the purple, the lip complements it. My skin looks amazing. I cannot recommend these products anymore. I'm shocked that I loved all of them. Thought there was definitely gonna be one or two where I was like, eh, not really sure about it. But yeah, so I'm sorry it wasn't an entire face of new products. Um, but I mean, it was damn near an entire face of full products. So I definitely recommend the Culture Eyeshadow Pal from Juvia's Place. I recommend the In Real Life Filter from Makeup Revolution and their cream bronzers. I also recommend that Tower 28 lipstick, I mean, lip gloss in pistachio. I also recommend the Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. Um, what else was new that I used? And, oh my god, that blush from Juvia's Place. Look at me. It looks so pretty. So I am super happy with this look. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciated you hanging out with me today, doing this fun look. Hope you like seeing this type of content for me. I hope you like my new setup at the moment. Hope you like my new hair. <laughs> and yeah, that is going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch me in my next video. Talk to me down in the comments. Follow me on Instagram at dusk to dawn glam. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you again. Mwah. Bye, guys.